Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Quran Weekly, this is Abdul Nasser Jangda coming back to you with another installment, another episode of the Stories of the Prophets, an exclusive Quran Weekly series. Today we're going to be talking about Nuh alayhi salam, the Prophet Noah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his peace and blessings upon him. You know, Nuh alayhi salam, there's an entire surah in the Quran, surah number 71, that is dedicated to the story of Nuh alayhi salam, but he is brought up and mentioned at other places in the Quran. What I will talk to you about today, one particular uh, event or one particular theme from the life, the story of Nuh alayhi salam, that I particularly find very insightful, very thought provoking, and personally speaking, very motivating motivating, very inspiring. And that is mentioned in Surah number 71. You know, one very special characteristic and trait of Nuh alayhi salam was just his sheer determination, his perseverance, his resolve, his determination. He just could not be deterred from the task that Allah had given to him. And that's actually a quality all prophets exhibit. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically mentions this about Nuh alayhi salam and points this out to us in surah number 71, surah to, surah, the surah named after Nuh alayhi salam, surah Nuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about Nuh alayhi salam, what he says to Allah about how his mission is going. So understand, let me set the scene. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends him to his people. Nuh, Nuh alayhi salam, by the way, preaches to his people for 950 years. Allah says in the Quran, a thousand minus 50 to make us understand that it was almost practically a thousand years that he preached to his people for. And Nuh alayhi salam is giving a status report. He's updating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his progress, accountability to Allah. And he says, Qala, he said, Rabbi inni da'autu qawmi laylan wa naharan. My Lord, my Master, I have called my people night and day. Inni da'autu qawmi laylan wa naharan. I have called them to you, O Allah. I have called my people to you, to believe in you, in Islam, night and day, laylan wa naharan. فَلَمْ يَزِدُهُمْ دُعَائِي إِلَّا فِرَارًا But the more I call them, my calling them only increases them, increases them in running away. Meaning the more I call them, the more they run away from me. The farther they run from me, the harder they run away from me. وَإِنِّي كُلَّمَا دَعَوْتُهُمْ لِتَغْفِرَ لَهُمْ جَعَلُوا أَصَابِعَهُمْ فِي آذَانِهِمْ and every single time I call them so that you can forgive them, O Allah, they put their fingers in their ears in front of me. And they take their clothes and they cover up their faces to ignore me in front of me. And they keep doing this over and over again. And they are extremely arrogant, conceited, just, just very, very disrespectful with me. So then I continued calling them and I called them out in public, meaning I give them da'wah in public. And I make public announcements. I call to them individually, privately, if that is what I think will work with them. And what do I say when I call out to them? Are they not listening because I'm rude, I'm abrasive, I'm not delivering the message properly? No. I tell them, Listen, y'all don't owe me anything. Repent to Allah. He's extremely forgiving and merciful. If you turn back and repent to Allah, He will shower His blessings upon you. He will make it rain down upon you abundantly so that everything grows and life is flourishing all around you. He will give you wealth. He will give you children. He will give you families. He will bless you in wealth and He will bless you in rivers, gardens, fruits, everything will flourish and grow abundantly around you. And then he says, I even reason with them. مَا لَكُمْ لَا تَرْجُونَ لِلَّهِ وَقَارًا Why is it that you don't have any hope in Allah that Allah will take care of you? وَقَدْ خَلَقَكُمْ أَطَوَارًا Even though He created you so perfectly, so beautifully. أَلَمْ تَرَوْ كَيْفَ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَبَعَ سَمَوَاتٍ طِبَاقًا Don't you see that Allah has created the skies so magnificently, so beautifully?
He put the moon in the sky as an illuminating light, like a night light at dark in the night. And he made the, the sun like a burning lantern, a candle that illuminates everything around it. And he makes vegetation grow out from the earth for you. And that same earth, one day Allah will put you back in that earth and he will bring you forth from that earth again. Allah has spread this earth all beneath your feet and he has made it available to you. So that you can walk around in this earth as much as you want and take different paths all throughout this earth. So Nuh salam keeps on going, keeps on calling, keeps on going, keeps on calling. And you know the Prophet ﷺ tells us that at the end of 950 years of preaching and teaching his message, only 80 some odd people believed in him. But Nuh salam he did not stop. Nuh salam did not quit. He kept going. The perseverance, the sheer determination of this great messenger and Prophet of Allah. You know, this reminds me of a very interesting story, a lesson we can learn from this. It almost makes me laugh remembering this incident. I was sitting with one of my teachers, one of our most senior teachers in Shiyukh. We were sitting with them and somebody came to him and was talking about some people and saying that, you know, Shaykh, these people are bad and they're terrible and pray that Allah curses these people, He destroys these people. Just very furious, very angry. And my teacher said to him, he advised him, he said, you know, instead of praying that Allah destroys them, wouldn't it be a lot better to pray that Allah guides them to the truth, to what's right? And he said, yeah, but Shaykh, didn't even Nuh pray that Allah would destroy his people? And my teacher said something very insightful, very interesting. He said, Nuh did eventually pray to Allah to destroy these people, but that's after he called them to Allah. Non-stop, day and night, privately, publicly, as you just heard from the Qur'an, after he called his people to Allah for 950 years. He slaved away, he sacrificed, kept calling them to Allah. Then, after at the end of all of that, he prayed to Allah for the destruction of his people. And then my Shaykh said to the guy, he said, now you go give da'wah for 950 years and when you're done, you come back to me and we'll definitely make du'a together against these people. So a little bit of a lesson, some food for thought from the beautiful, powerful story of Nuh alayhi salam, the Prophet Noah. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. Until next time, Quran Weekly. This is Stories of the Prophets. Abdul Nasser Jangda signing out. I'll see you all next time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Quran Weekly. Uh, I'm currently in the woods. The Quran Weekly team has kidnapped me. I'm not really sure where I'm at. There's no cell phone reception here. Uh, if somebody is watching this video, please help me. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do right now, but please help me. <laughs> 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 All right.